Hey, Whittemore Bees, it's Mrs. Ward and Quincy. He comes everywhere with me. Um, I'm here today to show you two different ways to make a number path. And we use number paths a lot when we do our work together. They're great for practicing addition and subtraction facts, to practice counting on or to practice uh, counting back or even counting up. So two different ways. One is simply take a piece of paper <clears throat> and just kind of draw it as straight as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just draw a line across the paper, just like that. Doesn't have to be straight. And then the one that we often use in school goes from one to 20. So that's what I would suggest that you make for your number path. So you just start numbering you should use a pencil first, so in case you make a mistake, you can erase it. I just wanted you to be able to see what I'm, what I'm writing, so I used a darker marker. And you'll just number right across the page. One, two, three. Leave a little space in between all the way over to 20. Then you can go back, if you'd like, to make it look like a number path that we use and draw some lines in between those numbers so you have them all boxed off. Okay, and your finished product will look something like something like this one up at the top. So there you have your path from one all the way up to 20. Great for practicing your addition and subtraction facts. If you would like a number path that kind of stands on its own, like this one, kind of like a little tent, I'm just going to show you how to fold the paper fold a piece of paper so that you can have one that kind of sits up on a table while you're doing your work or playing a math game and that might be easier for you to um, practice your math facts. Okay, so just take a regular piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half this long way and then we're going to fold it in half again. two one more time you don't have to fold it this many times if you don't want to you can make one that's a little bit taller I just made it tried to make it look a little bit more like the ones that we have in school so now you have this little tent and you want to make sure before you write your numbers on it that you pick it up from the edge that's folded that creased edge so you have it like this pick it up and then, just like you did before, you're going to start writing your numbers. From 1 all the way to 20. And again, you should probably do it in pencil to make sure that you have enough room that you can get all your numbers on there. And that you could easily erase it if you make a mistake. And then draw your lines. Oh. And then it'll stand up like this, so you can have a nice number path right like that, that you can use when you're playing some games. All right, I hope this helps. Um, look for another video on what you can do if you don't have any dice at home.